My friends, today's episode is all about how to create that perfect cauliflower pizza crust. So simple, really is. You gotta have yourself a beautiful cauliflower to play with. As always, these things are so versatile. You can do a lot with them, even make cauliflower gnocchi. That's in another episode. We have a few other things going around here. Again, when it comes to the topping, that's up to you. This is how simple it is. So you got yourself a cauliflower. Simply start by removing the stem. The actual stalk itself, you're gonna keep, okay? So just simply get these leaves off. Great for compost. So you've taken the outside off, really simply, just using the tip of your knife. From there, we're just gonna slice down the center. This is gonna allow us to expose the inner framework like that. So you got this kind of thing to play with. From here, you're gonna cut just on the inside around using the tip of the blade to get the florets off. So once you cut off all these florets, make sure you keep the stem. This bad boy is full of even more nutrients than this guy. And uh, ultimately, when you're boiling and making a beautiful crust, you need as much of the cauliflower flour as possible. Sliding over to a food processor team, which I've attached the, the blade to. So obviously some of them have different forms of attachments. But into that, you're just gonna kind of gradually add in your cauliflower. You're just gonna blitz it. And you're looking for a beautiful, fine consistency. Give it a little bit of shake, making sure the blade gets around every single floret or head of cauliflower. See how nice and fine it is? That's great. It is full of moisture though. So that's the next part we're gonna talk about. Okay, so in parts, just transfer that beautiful rice. Because what you don't wanna do is overcrowd your food processor. If you do that, it makes it very hard for the air to get around the blade, which then allow you to get to a nice processing of the actual cauliflower itself. The next stage is actually tenderizing our beautiful little bits of cauliflower. So boil some water, add a lovely amount of Italian goodness of salt, make it taste like the Mediterranean Sea, and then transfer your cauliflower to the pot. And this is a very short situation. You only want to do this for about 45 to 60 seconds. And then just come over here, because you guys are going to see this, come real tight. Over here we've got a strainer, so we've got the cloth, into a colander, we're just gonna transfer it to that, and we're gonna squeeze it out. 45 seconds later, take our pot, get the strainer, and be careful, because it's hot. We're just gonna turn it out into that. Notably, you're gonna get rid of all the you know, moisture, the water that was in the pot, but also you're gonna get rid of some of the excess moisture that was already in the cauliflower itself. So this can take, you know, you can leave overnight, or if you're in a hurry, let this cool, until you can actually bear it with your hands and start squeezing it. Just get yourself to spread the actual dough or the cauliflower itself evenly about, because what that does is it opens up surface area for evaporation. To make a really awesome pizza crust, get that beautiful crustacean, one tip I like to do is take whatever surface you're cooking your pizza crust on, like this, and put it in your preheated oven. Because what we're gonna do is you're gonna pour the dough directly onto that to get a nice little sizzle and it's already gonna be hot. You know, kind of reenacting a nice little wood fire oven situation. It's time to add the flavor to our baller cauliflower pizza crust. So you processed it, go to a nice little fine situation to make your cauliflower, boiled it to tenderize, you strained it. Now you just add all the goodies into one bowl. Just gonna get ourselves a beautiful egg, get a little fork action, just to whip it up a little bit. I'm also adding in some cottage cheese, high protein. Obviously, if you're not vegan, you can substitute for some coconut milk or some other thickening situation. And the herb option is completely up to you. I love oregano, thyme, those kind of dried situations are really nice too. And combine that with our strained cauliflower. Get a little mix in. Now, pizza dough is meant to be messy, so if you feel like getting your hands involved, be my guest. Cottage cheese high protein wins right here. So this is obviously a very low carb option. If you're keto, it's keto friendly. Get your pizza pan out of the oven. Carefully, straight down, you're gonna add lovely olive oil and then transfer your dough onto the surface. And shape it into that nice thin texture. And then into your 400 degrees oven. My friends, the cauliflower pizza's been there for about 40, 45 minutes. 
You can always switch it to broil if you want to get super crustacean. We're going to do that now anyway. But before we do, I've created this beautiful red sauce. If you want my red sauce, this bad boy, head over to my Instagram. You can see it being superimposed down here. Love you worked on. And you can come up with one of the tastiest, beautiful umami invoking red sauces that you'll ever come across. So let's get our lovely natured pizza cauliflower style out of the oven. Oh yeah. Look at this. Golden edges. It's kind of like got a bit of Detroit about it with that. And then a nice beautiful crust golden on the top too. It's now up to your imagination my team. So always red sauce in my opinion. You can always do white but I'm a big red sauce fan. So down goes our tomato -y goodness. Get it spreaded about and then finish off with my favorite, favorite herb, basil. We're gonna get this back in the oven. Make sure you switch that to broil or salamander or grill, whatever you prefer. Get straight in, leave the door open for a few minutes. How about that for a bit of fun and games? Before serving, finish off with classic extra virgin olive oil. How about that? As always with my cooking, this recipe is easy, healthy, and oh so accessible. So my friends, if you want to catch more of this delicious goodness, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment down below. I know you guys have requested this before, so if you want another request, please let me know. Give it a share and of course a thumbs up as well. Team, I'll catch you next week for another healthy episode. And of course, we're gonna dig into this cauliflower pizza. Catch you soon.